Hello, sunny, bonani, beautiful people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's another day, and we are today joined by YouTube content creators. We know, especially during lockdown, we are all at home, and we are getting entertainment from our platforms such as all YouTube. And a lot of you, you know, so how then do you use your skills to make money using our platforms like more YouTube? Today, I am very fortunate to be joined by some of the most hardworking content creators from Africa. And this is not just for people who want to create content. It's also for people who are consuming content on platforms such as YouTube. How do you support the content creators that are keeping you entertained, the content creators that are educating you or your children. So it's going to be very, very educational. I am joined by some of the best. So without wasting more of your time, let me introduce you from South Africa, Durban. Leon! <laughs> how's it? How's it? How's it? How's it? How's it? I am good in four ways. So, uh, as we speak, you are working. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was busy shooting the skits right now. And then, so I told the guys that uh, we have to stop because I have uh, interview or live chats with Sistengi. So I have to put everything on hold. So you are as an essential worker because even during lockdown, you are working, making sure that you keep South Africans and the world at large entertained. Exactly, exactly. That's what we're here for. We're here mm. to heal the country, the world. Gosh, gosh. Yeah, we will get into that. Yeah. So we also have a very, very hardworking and very good content creator who has broken borders with the audience that she has is from all over the world. I've watched some of her live streams and she'll have people from Denmark, people from America joining in. And it shows that you can use these platforms to carry the message across. It meets our African content creator from Kenya, African Tigress. Hello. <laughs> How are you? We are good. We How are, are good. you? How are you? I'm good, Leon. How are you doing? Leon, how are you doing? Hey, the network. What's with the network there? <laughs> My network? Tenjua, can, can you hear me clearly? I hear you perfectly and I see you perfectly. So it's your network, Leon. <laughs> so, African Cypress, please do explain to our audience at home what you do on YouTube, when did you join? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, just tell us about your YouTube channel. Well, my Let's name is my network. African, African Tigress from Kenya, Nairobi, Kenya. I have two YouTube channels, by the way. So um, I have good. I'm not sure Tigress. if it's the network that's bad or my network or whose network is bad. It's yours. <laughs> All right, so I have two YouTube channels. I have African Tigress yeah, now, and Kenyan. Yeah, now I can hear Okay, on African Tigress, I do content about Pan Africanism. I'm all about, you know, Pan Africanism, promoting Africa, rebranding Africa, talking about issues of concern uh, in the African continent. So, trying to link the African diaspora and the Africans in the continent. And on the other channel, uh, it's called Kenyan Sister, where I now do vlogs and day-to-day -day lifestyle videos about uh, Kenya and my travel experience as well. And what I like is that you travel around Africa, showing people that Africa is not about those off-farm adverts. Not every child in Africa has flies on their faces. So you are exactly. doing something that even our travel and tourism departments have failed to do. You are doing PR for wow. Africa, which is... Mm -hmm. So, let me... Yeah. How long have you been doing YouTube? Okay. I seriously started doing YouTube last year, February. Last February. Last year, mm -hmm. February 10th. 
that's when I started doing YouTube on African tigress. And then the Kenyan sister one, I started doing it in uh, about November. And my first videos were actually the time I went to South Africa. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Yes. That's beautiful. Well, I know we were supposed to meet when you were in South Africa, but then you were there for such a short time. But yeah. yeah. And what inspired you? Why YouTube? Well, to be honest, starting on YouTube, I kind of started as a place to just store memories from my experiences, travel experiences and all that. But then I realized that once they start, the platform started growing and I realized people were watching, I was like, wait, I could actually use this platform to, you know, to create change and spread a message of things that I'm passionate about. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, are you a full time YouTuber or are you doing it as a hobby? Um, I'm doing it. It's one of the main things I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I also have other things I'm doing, but also YouTube is one of the main things that I do. A, a lot of people will say things like, I want to do YouTube, but I do not have the equipment. I still have to save up to buy an expensive camera. I still have to no. save up. We've got Leon back. Let me add him back on. Uh, Leon, we are talking about uh, people, the questions they ask about joining YouTube, like, oh, I need to save up so I can buy an expensive camera. I need to save up so that I can be able to pay, <clears throat> excuse me, my crew. So how do you start YouTube if you do not have a lot of money to buy a uh, big expensive equipment? Well, uh, you, need, you have a phone. Okay, Leon, you go first. Yeah, exactly. No, I, I think you are about to say what I, what I was about to say, because. We all start somewhere because I also started with my phone because my first YouTube video was, I, 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 I took it using my phone. I edited using my phone. There, there are apps, uh, video shop, uh, and, and which, which, which app? But yeah, you do get those uh, apps where you use on your phone to edit videos. And that's where I started. So it doesn't matter if you have a better camera or you, you, you have we have your phone what matters the most is the the content if your content is is nah is 100 percent then it's worth watching because now you do get guys who have bigger cameras who have better quality but the content is not good mm -hmm. so, I agree with you. so you can use the basic so you can use the basic camera and your basic laptop you don't have to go big African tigress? That's the same thing I tell people all the time because a lot of times people ask me about, oh, I want to start YouTube, but you know, I'm waiting, I save up, I buy a camera and all that. But I tell people, it's the content that you produce. You can start with your phone as long as you have a smartphone. The content that you produce is what will attract people to your platform. You can have, uh, you know, you can have like, lots are uh, very powerful camera all these equipment but your content is not attracting anybody and there's somebody who just has a phone which even the pixels and all that the video quality is not as high but this person's content is really good and this person will actually do well than you so it's about the content so start with what yeah. you have yeah i agree because i also started with the phone my first few videos were shot with the phone it took me a long time before I started shooting with the camera. And what's good about mm -hmm. a phone is you always have it. Yeah. yeah. Phone, which means you don't that's have to see something that's worthy of being a content or you to think of an idea and then say, oh, I need to go home and get my camera. We all mm -hmm. have smartphones. Everyone who's watching this right now has a smartphone or has access to a smartphone. So that is your tool. And as Africans, we must stop just consuming. We must look at these things that we're spending money on to see how can I make money out of this, which brings me to the next point. People say, okay, I've joined YouTube, but it's just a waste of time because I'm just giving people content for free. Does YouTube pay? Uh, is that a question? Yes. Is that a question? <laughs> it is a question. Yeah. Well, yeah, YouTube does pay. Um, well, there are some certain things that you have to do in order for you to get uh, paid, which is uh, 
Google AdSense. You have to have Google AdSense, and then you have to have like a thousand subscribers and like four thousand watch hours, and then you can uh, apply to get monetized uh, using Google AdSense. So those are the minimums that you are uh, the minimum things that you need to do in order for you to get uh, paid on YouTube. African yes. Address. Yes, YouTube pays. Of course, YouTube pays. As long as you hit the requirements that Leon has mentioned, yeah, it will pay you. And, oh, well, it pays pretty well, pretty well, depending on where people are viewing your content from and how many people view your content. So I don't want to preempt, maybe it's one of the questions, but uh, there's this notion that also people believe that once you get monetized on YouTube, that is it, money will just, you know, flowing. <laughs> flowing. So I think, I think a lot of people start YouTube channels, they get monetized, and once they start uh, making money, they uh, once they, 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 you know, they realize that the money that is coming through is not billions, so it's not as much as they thought. So a lot of people yeah. start and they give up along the way. So you also have to have passion as you're doing mm -hmm. it, such that even if the money is not coming through as much as you expect, you keep, you know, you keep going. You yeah. keep going. Uh, we have been uh, joined by another influencer, another uh, content creator from Zambia, based in the United Kingdom, the number one Zambian content creator, Lily Mutams. Yay! <laughs> Hi, Lily. How are you? Hey, yeah. Lily. How are you? Uh, been so busy today. I know, I know, I know. Lily, the question is, does YouTube pay? Can one make money from YouTube? Yes, definitely. <laughs> YouTube pays money, good money. Uh, I, for one, uh, let me just put my phone on. I started my YouTube channel, um, well, blogging last year, and I wasn't monetized yet. So I would just post content there without monetization. And um, when I got my first YouTube paycheck, it was good money. And now I can literally count on the 21st of every month that YouTube gives me a good check. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <bro. laughs> yeah. And we have been joined by another YouTube content creator, one of the biggest YouTube cre creators from our continent, Wade Maya. Hey. <laughs> Hello, Maya. How are you doing? Hey, I see all the celebrities. What am I? Here. I greet you all. I greet all the celebrities in here. Uh, I have to introduce myself. <laughs> you have to. Uh, what yourself. am I? The question is can you make money out of YouTube? Yeah, does it pay or is it just a waste of time and waste of money and the chasing of cheap things? <laughs> um, so my name is Wadamaya, um, the African village Wode. from Ghana. Yeah, the African village from Ghana. I did you hear the question? African... <laughs> what was the question? Can I get a can I get a earpiece? Hold on. Did you hear the question, Wadamaya? I want to get a earpiece. Hold on for me. Just let me use that earpiece. Sorry, give me a minute. Where's my earpiece? Can I use it? Yo, I do just... not know what is happening. I think we are having uh, trouble with the uh, uh, sorry about that. I just what am I? Did you hear the question? What's the question? What's the question? Can I get it now? What? Loud and clear. <laughs> Loud and clear. It's okay now. <laughs> Hi, do introduce yourself first and tell us what you do. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. Um, okay, my name is Wadamaya. Eh? Okay. <laughs> okay, no problem. We will wait for you. I'm okay. He's I'm ready. Okay. I can... Should I start? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. good. Okay. <laughs> my name is Wadamaya. I'm an African vlogger from Ghana. I, I travel around Africa to show... Yes, hi. 
I travel around. You can around. definitely hear me. I travel around Africa to show the beauty of Africa. Uh, currently, I've been to, uh, I think, 17 African countries. Yeah. And uh, right now, it's locked down. We're all in our houses trying to be creative, create something for the audience. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> I think I it's frozen. Yeah. I can hear who, who is gone. Then you is gone. Is it me? No, we're here. Uh -huh. no. Because like we're here. No, okay. I think she's All going right. to come back. She just needs to click back on the link and she'll be back. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So, okay. how are you, darling? <laughs> I'm good. How about I'm, I'm you? I'm good. I'm good. What's going on? I think I see a question What's here going? now. I think this question is for you. Someone is asking you, Odemaya. So, you guys have teams you work with, or you have many people you are working with? A team? Uh, I don't have, I don't like a team. I see. You, um, Hi guys, I'm truly inspired by this conversation as a young YouTuber. I'm learning. Uh, well, what's the question? Like teamwork? Do you have a team that you are working with? Yeah. Um. Personally, I have like two camera guys because, but I started alone. But uh, right now, since the job is becoming so difficult, I had to like bring people on board. So I got like two video editors that I work with. Uh, so right now, we're three in number. Yeah, we have um. A video editor and also camera guys and all that, yeah. But right, right. now, everyone is in their various houses, so I'm alone right now, yeah. So, right. Africa, we know that a, a lot of people uh, from countries such as America have become millionaires through doing YouTube. And as Africans, we are struggling in terms of reaching the millions of subscribers. Because in my case, a lot of South Africans tend to think that in order to subscribe, it's like a magazine subscription. There's a cash yeah. you're going yeah. to have to pay. So yeah. what can we tell people about YouTube subscribing as a subscriber? If I like your content, because I'm sure it's the same with all of us, you find that 87% of people who watch your content are not subscribing. So what can we tell our viewers from the continent about YouTube subscription? Uh, what am I? <laughs> oh, okay, so like, um, so for you, Subscription. It ain't it can subscribe to someone's channel. It's free to subscribe. It's like um, so Africans go on YouTube, they just watch a bit. Uh, but I just feel like it's not their fault. It's all like um an education system. People have to show them that mm. hey, whenever you watch a video, there is a button that you need to subscribe so that you'll be able to come back again. And watch my videos. So as content is like personally, I've not been saying that hey, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and all that. I realize that there are people who have been watching me even for years, but they don't subscribe. But you still get notifications. So you've been watching me, you still get notification. Mm. But what I started okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing that subscribe, 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 like. Last month alone, I had over 40,000 new followers. I like those. Uh, African title. Yeah. Like I said, last month alone, I got 40,000 new YouTube, uh, YouTube subscribers just by repeating. You know, and. Come to the church. African title, what can you add to that? 
I think it's very important to subscribe to YouTube channels and not just subscribing. Um, as you subscribe, it's also very important to watch, to support uh, content creators. It's the only way you can appreciate the content uh, of your favorite YouTuber by subscribing, you know, appreciating it's the least support you can you can do because yeah, there are lots of people who watch and uh, maybe some people think maybe subscription takes something from them. It really doesn't take anything from you. It's just hitting that subscribe button and watching the content. So personally, I believe it's very important because sometimes you, you know, you have a video, it has like a million views, not one video, maybe several videos. And then you find like with these a million views, you don't even have like a hundred K subscribers. Like where are they? Like you're just coming to watch and you're just leaving. Why can't you just hit that subscribe button? Leon. Yeah, uh, guys should subscribe, guys. Uh, I think they should subscribe because subscribing is, is, is the same as uh, YouTube and Instagram because every time when there's a, a notification, you can go and check the video rather than just going there to go and check, because now if you've subscribed, there's a notification. That, and guys should watch the adverts, guys. People should watch the adverts, guys. Don't skip the adverts. That's how they should, that's how they're gonna contribute. They must watch the adverts. That's how they're gonna help us. They must watch the adverts, not skip the adverts, guys. Please. Uh, Lily? We are talking about how African uh, viewers of our content do not subscribe. They still think that if you subscribe, there's a catch, you're going to have to pay. How, what can you tell people who consume our content about subscribing and how it helps us as content creators? Uh, I don't know if Lily got me there. Okay, what did you want me to say? Uh, we are talking about uh, subscriptions. How a lot of African, uh, uh, the people who consume our content are not subscribing. What can you tell them about subscriptions and how it helps us as content creators when they subscribe to our channel? Uh, definitely subscription is very important. It encourages us. Um, it shows that people are watching our content. Um, what's yeah, famous, you have a video of 1 million views or 10 million views like Wadamaya, and then you have subscribers less than your views. So the views should match with the subscription. And the importance of subscribing is that um, sometimes we upload content and because we haven't subscribed, they get, they don't get any notification, so they get to miss out a lot. I, for one, before I became a YouTuber, would watch videos, and then I'll be trying to figure out who's this person that I watched before, because I don't remember their name. Mm. Um, I'll end up subscribing to another channel because I'm looking for a particular content. So it's important that um, our viewers subscribe to our channel. It's very encouraging. It makes us to create more content without uh, limiting ourselves. And uh, it's, that it just shows that they are supporting us. And uh, going back to content creators, because we are not always perfect. We are not always doing the right thing. What are some of the YouTube creator mistakes that uh, creators make, especially in the continent? <laughs> what was the question? Go what are some of the mistakes that YouTube content creators make, especially in the continent? For example, for me, it will be copying this copy and paste style of copying what creators in other countries are doing. And you find that that's not content that people in Africa want to consume, number one. And also, you are doing something that someone is already doing. So this mm. is that content 
so the mistakes the mistake person created made um is trying to be someone else you know like wadamaya has his style i am maya <laughs> and then abia i am little but people think i'm am i on wadamaya channel <laughs> or am i on little but channel so you have to be unique um so that the subscribers get to know you like for me i came up with the yellow up as well now what am i even know yellow up as well so you and all african tigers know you come up with your own slogan come up with your own style and your subscribers or viewers will get to identify you as you without linking you or likening you to another youtuber Yep. Who wants to go next? All right. Uh, no, um, uh, I I I would like to add on that point of being original. Cuz now people tend to to be to be someone they're not. Like take for, like take for like for me example. The videos that I do, I'm a Zulu guy. The videos that I do, I do them in Zulu. I st- I always stay original. Even if even if it's marketing even if it's marketing something because there's something that guys sometimes should understand me as as leon kumete you must know me as leon kumete for what i do some people when they um promoting a brand or or, or an advert or whatever maybe or chicken licking every time when you see them you see chicken licking advert you don't see them anymore now which which is now the brand is taking over you now when people see you they see the uh, chicken licking chicken licking advert a chicken licking guy or whatever but now it's not you they're not seeing you as leon kumete they're seeing you as that brand so you must always stay true to yourself if the brand wants to use you to promote their thing you can do you just do you they need you just do you what am i so that was my point guys thank you thank you Leon. yeah um so if i should add anything to that i would say that so many people on youtube and um they don't know their purpose they don't know why they are there um for example you see a youtuber doing this today tomorrow doing that he's just literally trying things that is working for people you know and um i would say that not things that work for what amaya might work for you but um when you want to be a youtuber first of all identify what are what are your what are your hobbies like i enjoy this so i never get tired like a day if you give me like you know, I have a camera guy and I want to film like, like three times a day mm-hmm. I'll do it because that is me that I'm doing right so um you know mm-hmm. stop trying to like copy from people what others are doing and uh because I, I watch certain YouTubers tomorrow he's doing this the next day he's doing that so what is your niche you know it's it will be so hard for you to um focus on one particular content like mm. maybe give an example if you, if you do something like that if you change the content you are doing the subscribers will not come back again you will see your subscription dropping you see your views dropping so like if you really want to be um a content creator especially on youtube if okay it's comedy that you want to do, do concentrate on that comedy because the content that will come they will come for that comedy because mm. of what the comedy so um i will advise so many people out there like just stay to yourself mm, yeah find one thing that works for you and work towards that even if it's going to take you a year for you to where you are don't stop the only thing one thing i want to ask you is like uh, my advice is that when you've been on youtube for three years and the content that you're creating okay you're 
makeup vlogger. The makeup is not working for you for past three years. Why are you still wasting your time doing makeup? You have to do what? So, because that makeup, right? But you'll be doing it for three years, four years, five years, and you'll still be having thousand people. So I would advise anyone out there, if things are not working, don't stay like three years. Uh, no, I'm speaking. I did it by two years. I don't get people to tell me. Is it my fault? Uh, I don't think it's me. Eh? Thank you, Wademaya. Uh, African Tigress. Um, basically, I, I think I'm they translated. Yeah, okay. Basically, I think they've highlighted everything that I could have said, so there's no point for me to repeat. The thing is, do you and uh, try to, you know, don't try to, to be somebody else. Just be you. In other words, learn from people. Do not copy them. Yeah, you can learn. Yeah, you can learn from people. You can, you know, you can learn from people. You Thank can you. have people teach you how to do stuff and all that. But try to be an original. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, to all our viewers, please do go and subscribe to all our channels on YouTube. I've got the links in the description. And uh, the next question I have is, as Africans, we come from a continent with so many different languages. So what language do I do when I do YouTube? Do I stick to my home language or do I do a different language? What would you ad advise people? Uh, okay, can I start, guys? Uh, before we even started the live, you remember, uh, Sanji, when I told you that I'm, st I'm still working, eh? Yes. Yeah, so after, after I finish this, guys, uh, uh, because now it's getting dark and uh, yeah, it's getting dark now, so I have to finish this one. Okay, okay nice. so uh, it, it's important to do videos in your own language because uh, now you do have uh, an, an option to add subtitles, which is which which you can put them in English because now everyone can everyone can read English, right? So most of the videos that I do, uh, I do them in Venek, which is Zulu. And then I translate them in English. So it doesn't matter if you do it in English or you do it in uh, your home language. But it's, it just is, now this goes back to what we were saying. Stay true to yourself. Yeah, so you can do it in your home language and then translate it in, uh, in English with adding subtitles. Uh, otherwise, guys, uh, I have to go. I have to love you and leave you guys. Thank you. This was awesome. It was nice to miss you guys. Uh, African Cyclists, I'll subscribe. What am I? I'll subscribe. Lilin, I will subscribe. So, uh, goodbye. I love you guys. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so All right, much. All right, Shab And uh, Lily, <laughs> in, uh, what about language? And in, in talking about language, we must also remember that we all so do different types of content. For the language, I would say yes. I, I think when it comes to language, because Africa, that's why you know when I watch what Amaya's videos and he's saying we should we should be one Africa. Mm. I wish we could have one language like Swahili whereby we all understand or Zulu but we have no choice but to speak English but there are some videos mm. that you would do that if, you, if your target audience is your, your people you can speak in your language like I've done one video that I was I'm the only one who can't hear. Thank you.
speak to my people in Zambia over one guy called Sparks Mining. And one girl had commented that, that uh, some of us who don't understand English, why don't you do it in the local language? Mm. Okay. So I did the COVID from beginning to end. And people appreciate it. So it depends on what you're talking about. But I think for now, we have no choice but to speak English. Uh, we can do it in our local language. English. I think it's better you balance. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lily. Uh, African Cypress. Uh, personally, uh, I would say you could use both languages or you could use a language uh, for the target audience because at the moment you don't have like a one language that we all Africans speak. But I also love, I sometimes watch, love watching, um, how can I say, uh, like Nigerian, Ghanaian, because they mix their language in between. I might not understand, but it makes it more interesting when they're speaking and then they add something. I think also South Africans do that a lot. So there's a conversation in between, they throw words in their languages, so yeah. Ayo Maya. Yeah, um, for the language, it all boils down to your audience, you know. Um, personally, I would love to speak my language, but I feel like um, using your language to, like, uh, it limits your audience, mm. okay? It limits the number of people you want to reach out to. And also, let me tell you something. Uh, YouTube is all about... Um, where people are watching mm. you from, okay, your audience, where are they coming from? It's all about it's all about the views. Somebody can get a million views. I can get ten thousand views, and I'll make more money more than you. So this is the time that if you limit yourself to the audience, or if you limit yourself to the people living in your country, where at in your country is very low. You should take this very like listen this one very carefully. Like when you limit yourself to your country, where at are very low. Um, I personally met so many Kenyan vloggers when I went to Kenya. And then when you cross-check, like they are at rate of the number of views they get, which is super, super low, which means that most of the audience are coming from Kenya and they use what Swahili and all that. That is how I rebrand my yeah. girlfriend, right? That's how yeah. that's that is how I rebrand my girlfriend to stop like I'm not saying that you shouldn't use your own language or something, but you brand yourself to meet all audience all over the world because YouTube doesn't pay in our various countries. Do you Thank understand? You. So, YouTube. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I would prefer. I would prefer to for us to use a common language like English that people in India. I mean, English is a universal mm -hmm. language where everyone mm -hmm. out there can understand you. Everyone out there will. I mean, I appreciate what you do, and that is how you will be able to, like, make, I mean, I mean, get some cash and move forward with your content and your writing. Thank you, Odemaya. So what I'm getting from this is that it's important to make a wise decision, because in our countries, especially in Africa, the CPM is very low. Very low. What you are very getting low. Low from local adverts is very low so you want people to watch you from all over the world uh, very low. But yeah exactly you all create different content like when you are blogging it's much easier to do it in english when you are uh, doing educational videos it's much easier to do it in english but when it comes to things like comedy skits there are things that you cannot uh, do well in english because they don't make sense which is what yeah. I think you was coming from. Mm. But if you want to reach an international audience and not just your people, if you don't want to just be a village prophet, then you need to think of a language that is universal, a language where, like what Amaya said, someone in India can hear you. But then also, just like Lili Mutams was saying, you can do one or two videos in your language where people can understand you. I do a lot of my videos in Zulu, which is my local South African language. And I find that 
South Africans are not supportive. The South Africans that view my content are South Africans that live outside South Africa. Mm. That are watching it because they miss home. That are watching it because it's humor that they can relate to. Mm. So the problem now is when they're watching with their friends from Kenya, their friend doesn't understand what I'm saying. So I think it is important to try and do a language that everyone can understand. Because especially with comedy, sometimes it's not what you are saying, it's how you are saying it. So if you say it in Zulu and put subtitles, yeah. they don't do it justice. That's why sometimes you watch comedy and you read subtitles and you're like, this is not funny. Why are people laughing? Because yeah. it's not what is said, it's how it is being said. Same, true. So I think we all agree that we need to try and move into a universal language, not just for the Western countries, but for our own people. So that uh, African tigers can understand my videos. So that Lily from Zambia can understand my videos. Because even within our own countries, we speak different languages. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I have now started a YouTube channel, but I keep getting red tags because they are saying I have copyright issues. What advice can you give us about copyright? How to avoid copyright strikes? So yeah. I can check on that. First thing is a lot of YouTubers or a lot of people when they get to YouTube, they want to use that music that is very nice, that music by Beyonce, the video, like, you know, that very nice music that is trending and soothing the music and all that. But warning, you cannot use just anybody's content like that. Leave alone just music, sometimes even videos. If you re-upload some other people's content, they might even strike you. So mm -hmm. there are various platforms uh, on YouTube. There is, I think there is vlog, no copyright music. There is non-copyrighted music. And then there's YouTube audio library where you can get copyright free music. So don't use somebody's music without permission. Okay. So for copyright, what I would say is, um, especially when we are sharing trending stories, what's going on there, um, you must have at least permission from the owner of the video. Like, for example, <laughs> I started a series of a, a gentleman called Sia One on my YouTube channel. And because he, he, he had no idea about YouTube, and I was like, you know, many people want to see you on YouTube if you can be uploading your videos on YouTube. So some people, noticed that I was sharing, you know, part of his clips and then talk about what he said. And they were just taking the whole clip and post them on their YouTube channels. So when it came to their monetization, because of all those videos they were just copying and pasting, they couldn't um, be monetized. YouTube told them they were using reused content. So it, it, it's all about you being creative. Even if you are taking a clip, like I've seen uh, what am I, uh, take a clip from China talking about something, but then he won't show the full clip and you just be seated there. No, he will talk about it. Refer to the video, talk about it, refer to the video, talk about it. I think it's lazy YouTube when you just take a video, you know, and just post it on your channel. And then when it comes to music as well, um, I used to pay a company called Epidemic Sound, but now I have a guy, he, he does copyright free music, uh, if you go on my videos, I have his links. His name is Ra Roa Music. He's amazing. He, his music is absolutely free, but because of the way he gives me so much music, I pay him like $6 a month just to say thank you. You know, So there's so many people out there who are creative. Uh, you can empower the young people. I also use background music of young people who are looking for an opportunity for their music to be on uh, a platform like mine. So ask on Facebook. Facebook is your, is your um, uh, link as well. It's your plug. You can ask people on Facebook. If you have any music, send me your music. And make sure you agree with them by email to say this music is copyright free. So some people will see that your, your videos are doing so well and they want to um, put a copyright on, on the music. So it's just a case of uh, being careful so that you don't lose out on making the money on YouTube. Uh, it's painful when you upload a video, especially celebrities. Celebrities are fond of, they will do a live stream, which is so important, you want to talk about it. 
but they will have a background music of Beyonce and they're like, this is such a nice video, but you can't put it on your YouTube channel because the moment you put it, you will get a copyright claim and it's not you. So you just look at the video like, oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. And all the money they are making is now going to Beyonce. Uh, African Tigress? Yes. yes. Already... For me, once I see that... Yeah, so um, I think uh, they've said everything that we need to say about the couple. Yeah, yeah, I think they've, they've already explained and said everything. All I want to say is that uh, just be creative with your shorts. And uh, because, you know, I've got like a copyright strike from a video I did like two years ago. <laughs> I got a copyright strike from uh, my own Ghanaian guys. Um, they said I've, I've used their footage. That was like a 15 minute, a 15 second clip. 15 seconds clip and um that nearly affected my channel but i still had like two um wow chances. yeah mm. I'm just a 15, second. 15 seconds yeah i got a copyright strike uh from uh, one ghana guy he said uh how can i use this video when i tell him the thing is like i was just like i was talking about something and i felt like i had to let people see but uh I have been there, but I never had a drone that time. That was like two years ago. So I just mm. picked the drone shot of 15 seconds from the guy, put it in the shot, and then put his name on it. But still, I mean, when he was watching the video, he felt like, yo, you're yeah, using my video. I, like his video was around like four minutes. I took 15 seconds out of it. And then he striked mm. my channel. Uh, and um, it took me like three months to, I mean, for the copyright strike to go away. So I just mm. want to tell people out there, Maybe it might not be anybody right now. You might feel like, oh, I'm using this person's video. But you're very careful that enviness and jealousy really exist among us. So you should, you should be very careful, you know, uh, when using people's content. Make sure you tell them that, hey, I want to use your video and let them mm -hmm. approve. And also, um, I also advise you on um, the free music on YouTube. Um, it's very dangerous to use free music on YouTube because now all these people... Um, when you use their free song, they see that the song is making it, and then now they are claiming mm -hmm. copyright copyright for all the songs. Mm. So I will, yes. I, will, I, will, I will tell anyone out there, just find a friend, or maybe you can buy. Mm -hmm. Like yes. there's, there's um, we can, there are so many uh, places mm -hmm. to buy out there. Buy or maybe find a friend to create. And also this upcoming artist, you help them. You help them, and then in future, they go and claim copyright for the video. Mm -hmm. It's so annoying, like, Somebody that mm -hmm. I, I was just helping your music, you know. I just know, yo, I mean, that time I was even in China, I used and recently I saw him claiming copyright strike for a song that I helped you, I mean, gain audience. But, um, yeah, this is how it is. So, you should be very careful when you are also working with um, upcoming yes. artists. Make sure you start imagine, yes, that. it has happened to me with Amaya before. Wow, me wow. too, yes, wow. It's, it's important to avoid using other people's uh, material and content yeah. today, but they can change their mind in the future. And exactly. another important point for me, what happened, I once got a copyright strike and nothing hurts more than getting a copyright strike. And it stays for three months. Yeah. And if you get me, I think they stop mm -hmm. That's true. That's what true. happened is... And speaking of um, copyright... Mm. Speaking of copyright uh, strikes and speaking of copyright strikes, yes, definitely. Yeah, I don't know if we still uh, have I think she's really on. But for me, what happened is. Someone sent me a copy, a, a video of an interview yeah, I had done for the TV channel. And then I posted it on my, uh, on my YouTube. It was me the whole time. It's me, I'm, but I was doing this for a TV channel. It was an interview, a, a, a profile interview. I got a strike. Because yeah. the TV uh, channel said it was their material. It was their equipment being used. So this belongs to them. And this put me off even doing TV channel because I'm like, why am I doing content for them? Why am I, they're not paying me. Yeah. Why, how can they own me, but they're not paying me? 
you call me for an interview mm. and I can't use it, but you can use it. So I thought, no, I'm not doing any TV stuff. If you want me to, pay me so that you can own me. Mm-mm. Yeah, that's true. And speaking of copyright tribes, um, we are even having YouTubers who are fighting other YouTubers. Um, for example, I'm friends with African Tigers. I'm friends with you, Tenhue. And then I feel, okay, there's something that I like about your video. Then I take a small clip or share it on my YouTube channel. And then instead of you approaching me because you know me, you're in touch, you go straight to YouTube. So one of the guys lost his channel three copyright strikes from a particular Zambian YouTuber who's doing that to Zambians. And I felt really bad. Like, you know, people are starting to get watch time. I mean, you can tell them, guys, you move this video. And the, the video is not even about them being creative. It's just a celebrity who's in prison right now in Zambia that his family videos, you know, files, he's had access to them. So he didn't even film this person. But he just wants to be the only person who has videos on his channel. And I really campaigned on my Facebook. I said, it's not fair how we want to pull each other down as Africans. So in, in as much as, yes, you are doing a TV interview for a TV station, and then they tell you that um, it's their material. Sometimes I feel like Africans as well, we have a problem. We don't want to see another person succeed. You know, when we see another person succeeding, uh, why should this person uh, be where they are, you know? I'll give an example of a, a YouTuber named uh, Virtual Grace. Uh, mm. Virtual Grace was struggling on her channel. And I was like, why don't you talk about what is happening in China and this restaurant? Because I was telling her about what happened in Zambia, about the restaurant. See how her channel has blown, just like that. Now, people who never used to support this YouTuber are now finding themselves on her channel because they can see she's getting the views from America, Caribbean uh, each time to post a video, it's getting more than 50,000. So we should learn to be supportive from the beginning. And if our friend is doing well or is not doing well, support them. And if you want any tips or want to use their material and they use your material, don't take them to YouTube. So, Wadamai, I'm begging you. I'm sharing the video. I, I saw your the... clip. Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. I, I saw see... your clip for my... But I watched the video. Don't worry. I watched it. That's more stupid. For I think because we're together. <laughs> the, the Zambia video. I saw it. Yes. I said, I tried to contact you. I told you, to, please tell Wadama. I said, please, Wadama, she didn't give me a strike. Or she didn't give me a strike. Ah, no. I would never do that. <laughs> yeah, uh, if, I have, if I have to do that, which means I have to strike so many channels down. Because so, so many of my contents are on different channels. So many. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. I'm trying to so, get a, okay. trying to get an audience to come in here. Um, I'm just sharing the video. I'm coming just a minute. And I, and mm. I was hoping Wadamaya can can talk about that. But that day as well, it was a memorial for Kwame Nkrumah as well, Wadamaya. So it was like yeah, you know, like yeah. The thing is that sometimes like when you're in the room like this it's so tough to create content i'm not gonna lie it's so tough yeah. to create content sometimes i even stress myself because um i don't want to talk about everything you know i just want to yeah. see people i mean everyone yeah. doing their own thing yeah. and all that some of the things i'll be like no just leave it because i don't want to see so many but if you have noticed that since we came from lockdown almost all the mm. content are similar on youtube like almost so many of us are going talking about exactly the same thing. Some of the content I just let it pass, you know. I just let it pass and then yeah. let somebody else also talk about it because when you do it, yeah. another person will do it, another person will do that. So it means that there's no creativity in the system. So I just had to leave it. Now you talk about it and I watch it from you, which is I, I watched the video, I didn't even know that was the date. <laughs> I saw the video from you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I only know about Kwame Nkrumah's death. Um, so since you're from Zambia... I made me a surprise. I made me a surprise, yeah. Since, yeah. Since from Zambia, you're the best person to talk about. Because um, I realized something. Okay, so when I wanted to start Africa to know what this is how I wanted it to be. When it comes mm -hmm. to, like, maybe a Zambian problem, let a Zambian talk about it. Because a Zambian mm -hmm. would know better than you from Ghana. 
Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah. so yeah. that's one of the reasons why when I go to every country, I try to meet everyone, get a communicate, mm -hmm. like get a link there so that in case mm -hmm. of anything that is happening in your country, you'll mm -hmm. be the best person to share the story and I'll post mm -hmm. it on my channel. But the thing is that like, you know, it's going to take us some time for us to, I mean, love one another, see that, hey, mm -hmm. this person is doing this, I need to support. <laughs> Sometimes people even think you are stupid for helping, you know, but yeah. it shouldn't be that way. Uh, we all like, Personally, I, I don't, if I create content with you, I'm done. Okay, yo, it's okay. Let's help one another. Because even okay. if you have two subscribers, two, mm -hmm. I know one person will come and subscribe. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I don't care about my numbers. I care about my content. That's yes. it. And, uh, I'm out. That's, that's, it. that's it. That's it. That's, that's the thing that I wanted to, yeah. And, uh, it's good that you're talking about working with other people because the next topic was going to be on collaboration. A lot mm -hmm. of YouTubers yeah. are too proud to approach other YouTubers uh, to ask them to collaborate. What advice do you have for them and how do you conduct people? And also, some people say, uh, I've got 10,000 followers. Why must I, why must I uh, collaborate with someone who has 25 or 200 followers? So what can you say about collaboration? Uh, I want to say that collaboration numbers do not matter. Okay, mm -hmm. numbers do not matter when you are collabing. Um, I saw that pride when I came to Africa uh, because I was based in China. I saw how China content creators were meeting each other, <laughs> doing all that stuff together. But when I came to Africa, I saw that everyone is alone. Mm -hmm. Everyone is doing the African YouTube space was not even mm -hmm. that vibrant. I, I, I'm not bragging, but when I came to Africa, I realized mm -hmm. that the African YouTube space is not even vibrant. Everybody is trying to. Can you imagine that when I went to Nigeria, that mm -hmm. was the first time most of them were meeting each other? Me too. Like, mm -hmm. Most true. of them were, That's were just true. meeting each other for the first time, but these people don't live far away mm -hmm. from each other mm -hmm. because of like. Some kind of pride that we have within us oh my name is this i don't have to collab with this person but let me tell you something yeah i did a video with vertu grace right which vertu yes. grace had like i don't think she even had a thousand subscribers no she was around 200 and the video that i did with vertu grace on my channel had over hundred thousand views not because of me but because of the power of Vertu Gray's voice, okay? Mm, yeah. Not yeah. that video alone. Mm. We did another video. And we did another mm. video when I, when I, when, um, I did that video with her. When I went back to the room, I told Trudy, I'm going to dis uh, discourage this girl, but I'm scared. Okay? When I was editing the video, I said, I told Trudy, Trudy, I want to discourage this girl, but I'm scared how she's going to feel. Then nothing stopped me. I was like, no, the next day, Vertu Gray's, I want to see you. And I told the two guys, you know what, I'm so sorry. Um, don't think that I want to hurt your feelings. But please, you are not a makeup content creator. Yes, yeah, exactly. Thank you, Adamaya. Thank you. Are you are not a makeup <laughs> content creator. The yeah. girl looked at me yeah. and like, ah, uh, why, why? Yeah. And I was like, no, like, I've created content with you. And the response that yeah. I'm getting online, you shouldn't be a makeup content yeah. creator. Okay, even if you want to yes. start from interview stores, and that's when Betty Grace interview first interview was interviewing me and Trudy. That was her first interview skills. Okay, so that's what I'm saying that numbers do not matter. It's the personality of the person that you're filming with. I mean, that's it. Um, let's um talk about African tigress. When I met African tigress mm -hmm. in um Kenya, I think African tigress, how many subscribers are you having? My subscribers two thousand. Two thousand. Okay. About then, about one thousand. Yeah. And then, 2000, yeah. Not and much. Then, and then we created um a video about where we created mm, a video about yeah. how um how do you call it the uh, Trumaya whole saga and all that and then the whole video blew up. Yeah. The whole video blew up. So that's what I'm trying to tell people that. Yeah. People that saw me, because not everybody know what am I, but they got to know me from where? African Tigress, what? Video. So that is how it works. You, you, you mm -hmm. don't have yeah, to yeah. underestimate anyone. Mm -hmm. Don't look down 
I want to say this yes. once again. I'm so sorry for talking too much, mm. but um, I reached out to so many African content creators who are bigger than me when I came mm. to Africa. Mm. And can you believe that they did not respond to me? But now, yeah. when they saw me going out there, now all of them feels like, oh, how do I reach out? Now some of them are trying to talk to Trudy to talk to me. And I was like, mm. check your DM. My message is there. Check your email. My mm. message is there. Because it's those whole are to the world. You see, don't look down upon anyone, no matter what. Yeah, exactly. Because one video mm -hmm. changes a YouTuber's career. Mm. That's one. That's it. So mm -hmm. I'll tell anybody out there. Very true. Let's come together. It's about the content, not the numbers. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Chris, anything on that? Do I even have anything more to add? I think what Amaya has basically said everything. Just collaborate with those people who, um, no, anybody can reach out to you, collaborate. Yes, I agree, but yes, there are some collaborations that personally I don't do when someone tells me to do content that I'm not comfortable with. Yeah, that's why I don't agree. Like, uh, I know someone who's reached out to me and they want me to do, I don't know, smash or pass, and I don't like that kind of content. I don't want to do that kind of content. So I think uh, I'm open for collaborations personally, but there's some kind of content like... <laughs> Like doesn't like I, I I just don't feel like it. So is it like the kind of video that I want to watch later? Would would I be proud of that? Uh, so mm -hmm. collaboration with everybody, anybody, reach out to a person. Sometimes uh, also when you're seeking for a, a a person to collaborate, uh let's be let's also be real. I I tell people this. So uh, someone can reach out to you. They want to collaborate with you, right? And then the kind of collaboration they want you to do with them, they want you to probably go to some uh, very expensive restaurants to buy restaurants or hotels to do reviews and things like that. So uh, I might not also accept to that kind of collaboration because that's exp if it's expensive for me, I might not. So sometimes if I'm reaching out to you and I'm telling you, oh, Lily, I want us to go to this uh, high-end hotel. I want us to review their food. I should also be able to tell you, by the way, I'll take care of that. It's not like YouTube is paying billions and I can spend uh, uh, that much money uh, doing this collaboration, doing this one also. So yeah, we also have to be very considerate when you're asking out people for collaborations. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of collaborations, I've collaborated with Tenjiwe. Tenjiwe is amazing. If you want to collaborate, don't look at Tenjiwe like this. She's so funny and serious. Uh, we had a good time in London, and we never knew that one day the London will be on lockdown and we can't move as we were able to move. So those are memories as well for us to keep. Like, look, at one time we were in, in, the, in the streets of London, it's good to collaborate with fellow African YouTubers, but I just feel that um, it's not just about collaborations, even just support from other YouTubers. Um, there are some YouTubers when we came on the YouTube platform that had 40,000 subscribers and I was looking up to them like, whoa, these are my inspiration. And then sadly, one of them, um, but I don't know what happened, but this person's channel was hacked. And you can imagine, this is someone you've been supporting every time you go to their channel, you watch their videos, and then their channel was hacked. And some people were campaigning that, you know, if people can support them on another channel. Then I'm thinking, when I had 500 subscribers, you were not there to support me. Mm. I'm now focused on my, my subscribers. So, it, like, what, what am I saying? Never look down on anybody. You know, there's a girl called uh, Vera Tunes that started doing these reactions and she's blowing YouTube like crazy. She's on six, almost 60,000 subscribers. And this is someone that I always used to, like what, what am I saying? You know, when you meet some people, you know these people, they are creative at this. I'll tell her every time, why don't you join YouTube? And now she's doing so well on YouTube and um, she's not done any collaborations, but the, 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 the fact is because a lot of people didn't help her, especially people from Nigeria, she's from Nigeria. 
she felt let down. Like, you know, these are my people. They, they've seen that I sing. They should help me with my music. They never helped her. And now she's blowing YouTube and slowly they're using her tags. You know, some of them are using her name, Vera Tunes. And I'm like, where is this coming from? You know, a lot of um, some uh, content creators from Africa are a bit hypocritical. They want to use you when they feel they need you. And, and that's why some other YouTubers are, as well, they are careful. But I appreciate people like Wada Maya that, you know, collaborate with anybody, you know, in order for them to create good content together. We were in Zambia together. Unfortunately, I, the day I was leaving is the day I met Wada Maya. I was coming mm. back to the UK. But I, I always tell him that once we get another opportunity, I would like to even spend even his five days with him and we create more more content. Um, it, it's, it's important that you collaborate with people that are willing to support and um, there's no need to be selfish because tomorrow African Tigers will have 1 million subscribers. And yes. then I'll be like, oh, my sister, <laughs> help me with your community tab. Back. And you know, the community, the community tab is something that we're using a lot to help each other, you know? Yes. Like imagine Virtual Grace you now. If, if I tell Virtual Grace, my sister, I have this video. She's sharing because we've been supporting each other, you know? So if somebody who's never supported her turned up to say, share this video, she'll be wondering, say, ah, why do you want me to share your video? You know, it's, it's, it's good to help each other. We don't know who will blow on this YouTube. Teo, I, who knew Teo will be on 100,000 subscribers? Wow, yeah. You know, Teo was just on, I think, 20,000 subscribers when I first saw him, when he was with you, Teo. Teo was, was at like about 20,000, over 100K. Yeah, he was when the time when he met with Wadama in Nigeria. I think it was about ten. He wasn't he at didn't have many. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. So, a collaboration. Ten. And he's yeah. doing so well. But also we must be careful not to collaborate with people who are doing YouTube for the wrong reasons and lazy creators as well who think they're just gonna <laughs> collaborate with Wadamaya, get his uh supporters, collaborate with, with Lily, get her supporters. <laughs> It must be people, it doesn't matter how many followers you have, how many subscribers you have, but if you are putting in the work. Wadamaya subscribers, if you collaborate with Wadamaya and they come to your channel and you're not delivering, they'll tell you off. <laughs> so, I, read, I read comments on other people. They'll be like, excuse me, go and learn from Wadamaya. Oh, are you trying to copy Wadamaya? Oh, this, yes. this is boring. Wadamaya subscribers are... They are brutal. <laughs> okay. So now I've joined YouTube and I've got like 20 videos. I'm starting to grow. I'm getting followers. And I think it's time to invest in equipment. What equipment should I invest in? Well, the Maya, answer that one. <laughs> It's volume is going. We cannot hear you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm not able to hear what am I? Uh, okay, Lily, <laughs> I'm losing everyone. Uh, I am losing everyone. I'm trying to find out what uh, equipment to invest in. So while we are waiting, I will tell you what I know to be good equipment. I think a good camera is always a good start. And another big problem that we have is sound so if you can invest in good decent sound equipment yeah african tiger is here uh african yes. tiger so thinking about um what equipment should i invest in if i see that oh i'm now serious about youtube and i do have money i can afford to buy some equipment to improve my channel what equipment should i invest in well the first you have to invest in is uh you can upgrade your audio so mm -hmm. get some microphone, lapel mic. 
uh, the next you can also get a camera because uh, to improve on the video quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think those those are the two important ones. Then as time progresses, in case you're doing sit down videos and all that, you'll need to have some light because light also enhances the quality of the video. I think those are like the major ones. Yeah, and then you'll always have a lot of SD cards, a lot. You have to invest a lot in a lot of SD cards. Such that uh, when you are out there in the field making videos, should it be full, should your cards get full, you can just change and use another card. So I think basically those are the most, most of the things. Oh, a laptop for editing. You'll need a good laptop for editing and you'll also need uh, editing software. So that is, that's way, you know, that's when you really started from the basic, like basically you said starting you can just use a phone. But as you upgrade, uh, you can get one more, one item, one after one item after the other. And then with time, in case you're doing vlogs, you can even go ahead and get drones and stuff like that. And uh, can I just add one more thing to the list? Spare battery. Yeah. There is nothing that hurts then your battery running out or taking your camera to want to shoot and then it says battery low. So exactly. a lot of spare batteries always charge. Uh, what am I? Do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, um, I would say that basically um, equipment really does not matter when you are starting because you might not start by having so much money out there. Like personally, I started doing YouTube with my Samsung S2. And um, like, you know, those days, Samsung S2, we started filming, started getting the audience. Um, I would say Trudy is an example to use phone to get a hundred k but I, of which I, I think that right now since the audience have really like she has more audience just improving the co like in the quality of equipment that she used but i just want to say that don't pressure yourself when you don't have the money to invest in all the equipment that my fellow content creators mentioned all you need is a phone but your personality in front of the camera really matters like first time i watched um lily mutans was the first i think she was doing a video about me and i like i just saw the energy in the video yo it's your girl lily mutans you know um i don't know whether she filmed with a camera but some of times it's not the equipment doesn't matter it's the personality that you put in your video that mm. matters so i would just tell everyone out there if you don't have the equipment if you don't have money to invest since you have a phone that you've been testing your girlfriend or boyfriend use that phone to start <laughs> yeah lily what equipment what equipment should we invest in a good mobile phone because what amaya has not told you people that in zambia he had issues with the big cameras <laughs> <laughs> Lily is me today. Ah, what am I journalist? Mobile phone is safer for me. It's safer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, mobile That's phone true. and and your simple light if you're doing um an indoor video, but mobile phone for outdoor. There are good phones like Huawei Pro P30 now is like you know very good with the camera outdoor. Unless you are yeah. you are brave like Wadamaya, <laughs> you can go with your <laughs> that is so true. Yeah. Especially when you can block. Yeah. But with the phone, it looks like you are Skyping someone, you know, or you're just talking to someone like, oh hi. But you don't know you're you're literally filming. That's why I like the phone. Yeah. But then people won't know that you are talking, especially outdoor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I sometimes, especially in Africa, where they don't, they still, some of them still don't understand vlogging. Yes. Vlogging with mm. a camera can be a thing, like, you know. <laughs> so, like, that's why I'm even trying to, like, I'll be investing in, like, a small phone that I'll yes. be using for myself. Mm. People will not even notice that I'm vlogging because I miss that uh, vlogging where you meet people, you just want to say hi. Because, like, I meet my fans in town i would love to put them in my videos i just have to put a camera up and just talk to them so that when i'm editing i'm gonna put them in but uh this is the time that when you move a camera somebody like don't shoot me don't 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 yeah, somebody can even come and slap you like i remember in sierra leone 
in Sierra Leone, the, there's a lady who took a whole camera and smashed it on the ground. It was crazy. Mm. And yeah, in Sierra Leone, um, at the beach, mm. we're vlogging it. You know, we do beach videos about, about what, um, how these people party on Sunday. In Sierra Leone, they, they mess up my, and the microphone has never been good till today. She just took the camera because she said, oh, we are vlogging her. She saw it that we are shooting her. Because when you go to the beach, you're just trying to show how people are having fun, just to tell mm, people that yeah. Africans are not like, you know. And then she just came yeah. through the camera from Elvis, smashed it on the floor. So, I mean, with your phone, they wouldn't have noticed that. I never even mentioned this anyway. But with your phone, you just do your thing and go your way. No. Yeah. So, good phone. Um, so, let us uh, go to the questions. We have a lot of questions. We won't be able yeah. to attend mm -hmm. to all of them. But this is uh, yeah. one question. My, my question is... To you the big youtubers why some of you don't like to help small youtubers okay um can i answer yes please so first of all i want to correct your statement there's not like uh, a big and small youtuber according to me everyone is a content creator i am fortunate to be where i am maybe because of lessons or working hard to be where i am today but um collaborating with smaller YouTubers, like most of you say, uh, I don't think that I'm entitled to vlog with everyone, okay? Um, it, it's, you know, you know, like, let me, let me explain this. We, 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 yes. we're trying to, like, on YouTube, everyone, I would say that stay in your lane, work so hard, you will get there. But the main reason why sometimes I do videos with everyone is that we are one people, right? Like I said, one video can change somebody's life. When the content that I want to create, when you fit in, why not? But somebody will be doing makeup. You don't expect me to do like a makeup video with them, with someone. Like I don't do makeup vlogs. And what kind of collab do you want me to do with you? You understand? So I just want to tell you out there, sister, you are not a you are not a small content creator. Mm -hmm. um, and also the numbers that you see, those people, maybe they have their own problems. Like me, for instance, sometimes I will not be happy, but people will be testing you, they feel like, ah, oh, that guy is that vibrant guy that we watch all the time, you know. So I just want to say out there that it's not about me not helping. It's sometimes it's just that the content you create, it might be different from the content I'm creating, mm -hmm. which doesn't match. So and uh, it's not like I'm big, so I have to help you. So, no, I mean, it doesn't work that way. But I believe that with time, we'll all get there. Yeah. And uh, can I just add also, the manner of approach is very important. Some people, the way they approach you, it's like you have to do this with them and you have to do it in their own time, their own way. Just like I do not go on a date with every man that asks me out, I don't have a duty to collaborate with everyone. Approach, Thank approach, you. approach. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, I agree with you, Tengjiwe. And I think I also mentioned it earlier on the type of content. Personally, the type of content, and then some people want you to work with their plan or with their program. So there are days that I'm available, there are days that I'm not available. So if we can't meet on that, like if we can't get on that, you have to be one. Even me, if I was to request you for collaboration, I would ask you to work, I would ask to work with your time. Some people reach out to you, they want to collaborate with you, but they want you, or they're like, oh, you can come to my place. Like, why? All the way to your place, why? I mean, why can't you just meet at a place that is central? And I also said the type of content. You want us to go, uh, like there's someone who was requesting me, we go, I don't know, to what hotel to do review and all that. Then I was like, okay, and it's out in Nairobi. So that means I'll have to spend on uh, fuel or maybe uh, transport. And then I have to, you know, you telling us, you telling me we go do uh, like a weekend we can get away or something in a certain place and you're not taking care of the transport, you're not taking care of the food, you're not taking care of, I don't know what. It's not in my plan. So it's your plan. So you have to take care of that as well. 
So if I was reaching to Lily and I'm telling her, Lily, I want us to go to this place to go do videos about this, I'll tell her, okay, fine, at this place we're going, and I think it would be nice if you spend a night. I'll pay for your accommodation. I'll pay your fare. I'll pay for food. So, yeah, something like that. That would mm -hmm. make sense. Anything to add, Lily? Yeah. Um, basically, when it comes to uh, small YouTubers or rather big YouTubers, as people like to say, like what Amara said, you know, there's no such thing as a big YouTuber or, or small YouTuber. As long as you're a content creator, you know that you have the potential to get somewhere. Now, um, yes, as a, a YouTuber that is rising, you may be looking up to certain YouTubers and you say, oh, I want to be... Um, accepted or appreciated by that YouTuber. If, if you are looking at that, you will always be disappointed. Now look, here's me that did a video on my YouTube channel using a mobile phone, which is just about 100 pounds. I sat in my dining area and my video went viral when I was reacting to Nigerian men. People just got attracted to my personality, what I was saying in my video. And before you know it, I shot up to 10,000 subscribers to now 20,000. Now I'm at 48,000 subscribers. I used to complain. I'm one person who used to complain. I don't have Zambians that support me on YouTube. Why don't Zambians support me on YouTube? I think when we met, I was even telling you, I don't think Zambians even watch my YouTube channel when I would check the mm. analytics. And I, African Tigress knows this. I, I was even sharing with her, like, look, I can't be doing content talking about Nigeria when I'm from Zambia. You know, and it took and it took just me reacting to you know Sia one about what he's talking about you know the government of Zambia and everything for people to know there is also a Lily Mutams that is doing YouTube they found me at 20,000 subscribers and this is this must be a serious channel when they came to my channel they found I had done videos I was in Zambia they started looking at my old content so be organized organize yourself now so by the time you blow. You don't know which video will make you blow. People will find mm. you organized, they will stay. But if they come to your channel, they say, oh, it's a one-hit wonder where you do only one thing and, you know, the rest of your content is not organized. So don't look at big YouTuber, small YouTuber. As long as you're on YouTube, you are a big YouTuber yourself. So mm. start creating, prepare yourself, make your thumbnails nice, make your channel look very orderly, you know, the cover of your channel, let your channel look very, very organized. And believe you me, it takes one video for you to blow. And when people see, oh, you've got this and that, they will stick around. So there's nothing like, why aren't they helping you? They are not obl obliged to help you. Believe you me, creating content is not easy because we're talking about editing. You have to edit footage. footage. You have to respond to your subscribers. Some of us have to we even show because I show my own cosmetics as well on my YouTube channel and my subscribers know. I have to respond to emails. I've even created four emails. One email for my business, the other email just for you know YouTube and the other email for people who want to tell me stories. So people be organized now and you never know who will spot your talent before mm. you know you you do as well. So don't look at Wadamaya and say I need Wadamaya to collaborate with me, but I I, I think I can collaborate with what I have. What am I is busy. Uh -huh. so you be disappointed. Mm. So, yeah. Let us uh, address the next uh, question. Well, it's a comment. You need to do a separate campaign for Africa and teach new audiences about their product. I think this refers to, some, to things like uh, so that people can subscribe in Africa. Oh, yeah, yeah, because most people in Africa they don't know about subscription, and and some of them use, uh, some of them use YouTube Go, so YouTube Go you can't really subscribe. Mm. Yeah, they use YouTube Go. I didn't know about YouTube Go until yesterday. What keeps you because going? Well, I if you aren't feeling creative. Yeah. It's a passion, you see. If if. That's why I keep on saying that if you are looking at how African Tigress is making it or how Virtue Grace or Tenjue is making it on YouTube, you will be discouraged. Focus on your own. 
focus on what you know is your niche. If you know you talk about real life issues, talk about the next story and another story. If you do travel vlogs, do another travel vlog here and there, but don't ever look at other people. Because then if you look at people who are making it big per se on YouTube, you will be discouraged. You think you're not doing anything. But what you don't realize is that when you, when, when, with YouTube, the way it works is, you can imagine I'm from Zambia. I went to Zambia to show the Zambian people, you know, Zambia, different places. They didn't even watch. It was people from other parts of Africa that were watching my content. And for me, if you're creating content and you, you want people to support you from your country, you'll be discouraged. Number one, your country people will never support you in the beginning. Number two, your family. Your family is even worse. Your family, I think you've heard what Amaya say. I, I don't think his dad would have supported him to be on YouTube, but his mom was supportive. That's why he calls his channel, what am I? Mm -hmm. My family used to just hear stories about me through friends at church and whatever. Your family will never support. So the moment you see that your family is not supporting you, keep going. It means you have something. Mm -hmm. But if you wait for your family and friends to support you, I used to post thumbnails on my YouTube channel for friends to check out. They never watched my videos. It took one of my friend's dads who lives in Zambia to tell my friend who's in America, we are close like this, what am I, very close. She never watched any of my videos. Her dad told her, have you watched a girl called Lily Motams on YouTube? Go and watch her videos. Uh, so, do you guys have that's teams that what you keeps work me with going. in terms of crew or do you work by yourself? Do you shoot your own content, edit your own content? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing, Lily? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, is that question for me? For all of you. Oh. Yeah, like um I personally, for everyone. I personally started this whole journey by myself. <laughs> I personally started this whole journey by myself. And uh, when I started Africa to the world, I was also traveling alone. Like I think I went to almost seven or eight countries by myself. And then along the line I realized that this is so time because when I travel, you see that I do daily content. You see that people are expecting you to create content every day. That's how my subscribers are. Like, even if I'm here and I've been, if I'm on, uh, uh, like, I decided not to do videos for two days, you see people testing me. My, are you okay? Is something wrong with you? Are you fine? I was like, God, this pressure <laughs> is too much for me. So I realized that no, the only way to, yeah. I mean, keep the fire going is to employ two people mm -hmm. where, we use the same YouTube to travel, same YouTube to do what, uh, I mean, take care of ourselves, which every daily upload makes it work. And my audience, like I said, most of my audience are in the diaspora, so I don't worry about so much views. I just, if, so far as I have my 10,000, I make my mark. And uh, I mean, even a day, my day salary can pay like my worker for months, you know? So I just want to like uh, tell people that when you start somewhere, I mean, when you get to a process that you think that this work is too much, bring people on board to make the things easier and then make the work faster for your audience too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And African Tigers, do you have a team or do you shoot yourself? Well, I'm not making as much as Wodemaya yet. <laughs> So at the moment, I can only afford to do it on my own. I cannot afford to pay um, to pay somebody else. So I'm working Uni. alone. Uni. Yeah, okay. For, for me, um, when I'm in Zambia shooting videos, I hire people to help me because that way I don't have to put myself under pressure to edit my videos. But when I'm here in the UK, when I'm doing vlogs where I just sit down, I edit myself and it's a lot of work. But I'm setting up a TV show for my channel where I'll be interviewing people in Zambia with a nice TV, everything set up. I mean, I, I, I believe really Motam's TV should be born. So I'm, I'm not limiting myself or stopping here that, you know, um, but I'm rather thinking of how I can push myself further. So yes, I will have, I do have people that I work with team in Africa, when I'm in Africa. So definitely it's important to work with other people because then you can direct 
you know, that's how, you, when I dream about my video for the houses in Zambia, I was just directing the guys, like, do this, do that, do this, do that. Those are the people who wanted you know, to sue nice. me, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> the people wanted to sue me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a story for another day. What a drama. I remember those people. Uh, and when it comes to having a, a, a crew, for me, I shoot a lot of the stuff by myself, but also I think half the stuff, depending on the content I'm creating. Content like my web series, things like Judge Tenji, where uh, I, I have a crew, a full-on crew, just like a TV yeah. production that, that, that helps me. But when I'm doing skits where I'm by myself or I'm, I'm vlogging, I do it myself. Mm -hmm. So you can do both. You can do things by yourself mm -hmm. or where yeah. you see the need, you can have a team. I think when, when if, if you're into like real, real life stories or, you know, discussing what's happening, it's very important to learn your skill, the skills, basic skills. For example, there's a girl in Zambia that relies on her brother and his friends to film her on a particular, she says she films on a Tuesday. And now there was a, a, a powerful story that was trending and I know she would have tackled it very well because that's her niche. Mm. And she was like, no, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't do this because I have to wait for my brother the following week. We've already shot our videos for this week. And that, from then on, I told her, you need to learn the basics. Learn how to use a mobile phone and easy up editors like um, Filmora Go, that you can easily just put videos together and put it on your channel. Mm. So by all means, try to improve on on personal skills. Yeah. Ne? And also, a lot of YouTubers have one goal, which is to get to 100 subscribers. What is it I'm about 100 subscribers and YouTube creators? What is it about this 100,000 subscribers? Is every YouTuber's dream to get to 100,000 subscribers. What is it about it? Why must people be subscribing to our channel for us to get the 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> what am I? Well, you receive the button. Tell I us. think what am I could answer that is, is now I almost hitting a million. <laughs> because <laughs> you got the 100,000 each. What am okay, I? So like, yeah. yeah. You got the 100,000 each. Uh, uh, <laughs> so having a 100,000 subscribers, it's I feel like um you've crossed the 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 90s you know you've crossed the 10,000s mm. to 90s and then 100 is where youtube will send you the how do you call it silver the, button what, what's the, the button the silver button and also they will give you um um uh, they will verify you on youtube so that when you comment on people's yeah. video you see that take over there mm. i mean having the number 100 alone i mean it feels so good because mm. I, I I know the fact that mm. like when I wanted yeah. to collab with people, they would tell me, "Oh, you don't have a hundred k. We are so sorry. Uh, we only collab with people with over hundred k." <laughs> Those are the things that actually motivated me to work so hard to get where I am. But um, mm. I would say that it's just a normal like. It, there's no big deal. I mean, if you're not there yet, you might you might think that okay, hundred is the big deal. But once you get a hundred k, you realize that okay, I was fighting to get 100k now i have 100k what next okay so now we're like okay maybe it's normal to me because uh i get i think i get 100 in months so like we are now looking forward to get uh, the whole million that everyone has been talking about so that is uh the main goal 100 is it, it's not a big deal you guys just work hard mm. you get there but it's not really a big deal like the way people uh make it seems to be we just do your thing yeah you'll get there thank you <laughs> I think it is a big deal because also it can, uh, it can attract uh, sponsors for your videos. That's when you are making money outside of the AdSense. That's when you see people yeah. doing your video and saying, today's video is sponsored by this company. This yeah. company this has ABC. So that's very good because that's another way of monetizing. And it's easier for you mm -hmm. to even approach companies when you have 100,000 people that follow you. Because when you go to companies, companies yeah, don't that's a, it's oh, ninety-seven percent of people that uh, watch your content don't even uh, subscribe to your channel. Yes, that's a thing. Yeah. And that's, that's flag. It's that's something that's it's like a certificate. It's like your 
your diploma to say you have done well. It's, yeah. it's nice to see. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it, it's a good feeling knowing that you have 100K. I don't lie. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling to know that you have 100K. But like I said, to me, I just don't value it anymore. Maybe because I've surpassed so or I'm just hoping. Because, I mean, YouTube is the views that matters. Okay, please. Let, get me, get, don't get me wrong. YouTube mm. is the views that matters. Exactly. Not subscribers. And even the views that matters, it's the, where is the views coming from that matters? Coming from, yeah. I, I've been telling so many people. I mean, don't be creative content. I've seen so many people. Um, I think uh, if you watch Tayo Aina's last video about mm. how much he earned making a million views, which is just a hundred dollars, a hundred and thirty two dollars. Imagine getting a million views. Mm. Mm. If I get a million views, yeah, if I get a million views, that's like <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, let's leave that for another day. <laughs> if I if I get a million views, which means I which is I, I can maybe go get it, maybe um uh, you know how it is. You like, can buy a piece of candy. <laughs> you can buy a piece of candy. Right? Exactly, you exactly. Live, so you can make a living. So I'm telling people that whenever you are creating content, think about your audience. Where do you want your audience? I mean, where do you need an audience? Okay, because getting an audience from India is like you're just wasting your time <laughs> on YouTube. Okay, when you have your audience coming from India, it's just that you will feel like you feel like oh, I'm getting millions, two million, three million, four million. But it's just waste of time to get audience from mm -hmm. India. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I don't want to mention so many countries, but um, it's all African countries. This. African countries. Like I've got yeah. a video with a million yeah. views that made yeah. less money than a video with ten thousand views because the exactly. one with a million views, the views are coming from South Africa, but the one with ten thousand exactly. views. Views are coming from the UK and the USA, so I make more money exactly. from the video with ten thousand views than the video with a million views. So it's not exactly. about the views. And the thing about subscription is that if you subscribe and you press the notification button, you help with my views because every time I upload, you get notified, so you come and watch. Yeah. So that's that's the thing. Um, that's what I keep on telling African content creators. Don't think about the country that you're coming from. It's going to be tough for people from your country to support you from day one, but they'll, go, they'll get to know you when you make it. Mm. Like, I'm not saying that. It, it's the truth. Like, people from your country will hardly support you when you're doing anything. But when you make it, they'll come back for you. Okay? Yeah, and they'll come and claim that, oh, that guy is from Ghana. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then that's it. So think about your audience. Don't limit yourself with the people around you and then focus on the, um, I mean outside your comfort zone and trust me you're gonna I mean you're gonna get the numbers that you're looking for. And uh, from each of you, can I have just three tips from each of you for YouTube growth? Three tips from each on how to to, to get growth on YouTube. One consistency. You have to be very consistent. If you create content, disappear for two weeks or one month, come back after four months and all that, people would, you know, people would know, like, people would go. I mean, especially if you're starting, you'd really have to be very consistent. So, uh, best, uh, my example, are from, it's now one month that I've been consistently doing live streams every day at um, 9 30 east african time i do live streams and i've actually seen a lot of growth so i know every day some days yes yeah, some days you were you're like oh my goodness i don't feel like like doing this would i still you know do i still feel like you know you you just feel like giving up but i because i know the value of consistency the moment you start giving yourself excuses that's the moment you will give up you'll say oh okay i'll just skip today and i'll skip tomorrow you still start scripting. So I've done it consistently for one month and I've realized like a lot of growth on my channel. And even like yesterday, my charger blew up. I had to like go 
to my neighbors, trying to find who can really help me, who has the type of charger that I use until I found it. And I had to do my live streams as usual. So consistency is very important. And then um, apart from consistency, you also have to like create, build, how can I build a community your subscribers are not just subscribers. They're not just those people who are subscribing. It's not like they're not, they, they just, yes, they support you, but it's it's even different than fans. Like, build a community. Like, how do you relate and interact with them? And then, lastly, be you. Be you, be original. Be yourself. Do not try to be someone else. And uh, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, we will now be joined by one of uh, South Africa's uh, content creators. He has disappeared again, but we're going to be joined by David Kao. When he comes back, I'm just going to add him on because he was uh, here, but he is he, done. But I know he's going to come back. And when he comes back, I will add him on. Uh, what am I? We need three tips for YouTube growth. Um, three tips for YouTube growth. I would say that just be you. Mm -hmm. I mean, do your thing. Secondly, don't let the numbers, I mean, discourage you. Okay, mm -hmm. because the beginning can be very tough. Don't let the numbers discourage you. Because I've seen so many people sending me messages. What am I help me? I want to get a thought. Like, I get like thousands of those messages every day. And I'm just one person, you know. I cannot just be moving here, doing this, doing this and that. So have patience, okay? Have patience. The content that will bring the audience will do it. So all you need to do, like African Tiger said, stay consistent, be you, have patience. That's the most important thing, okay? If you don't have patience, if you get like, oh, I'm not going, you know, it took me two years. It took me two years to get where I am. Like, I got like 1,000 people in two years. But people will come on YouTube today and they'll start sending you their link. Oh, what am I? I just started you to give me a shout. Oh, what am I? Ah, come on. Take your time. Have patience. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I want to say this is that when I give you my audience, yeah, my audience will come, but my audience are not interested in your content that you're creating, which they end up being a ghost subscribers. Mm -hmm. You be yeah. uploaded, they will not be coming back. You see, you be uploading, yeah, they subscribe to be there, but they will never be back to watch you. Why? Because mm. they, they, this is not the content that they want to subscribe for. They came mm. because, oh, from what am I, and I want to support you. And they subscribe to keep your numbers growing. So I want to say that just be you, do your thing. The numbers, I mean, the right audience will find you. That's all. Mm. Lily Mutang, get up with that. <laughs> um, what, what, what's the question again? Sorry, my thing had gone off a bit. Uh, three tips for YouTube growth. Oh, yeah, three tips. Number one, be original, uh, be yourself, be you, uh, let the audience love you, and uh, don't give up. Number two, uh, consistency. Um, you can't upload a video today and after three weeks, you upload another video. The audience that likes that your video will not come back. So be consistent. If it means you uploading videos every day, upload. If it means you're doing live stream every day, like African Tigress, upload. For me now, I think YouTube is more like even Facebook where, you know, you post something today and your audience are able to watch. But you can't leave them hanging for some time. Otherwise, they'll go to another channel, which is um, posting content a lot. Mm. And then three, be humble. Be humble, no matter what. Don't let your growth uh, make your head grow big. For me, I've had diplomats emailing me, different people from different you know, backgrounds emailing me, and I'm still the same girl up as it from the last time you met me, Tenju. <laughs> Be humble. Remain cool. Don't feel yourself like you have arrived. This is just YouTube. And um, 
don't look down on anyone basically we have now don't been look down on any basically cuz mhm mm yeah so i have to leave you cuz i'm working I, i have to leave you cuz i'm going to work uh, please be loyal be, be okay, humble no problem, don't give up um youtube is a journey that you need to be like you know persistent consistent if you are not you will give up easily because you don't have the views you don't have the subscribers you wake up you find you have 200 views be consistent and don't copy anyone no copy and paste no copying anyone just be yourself thank, thank you so you much so guys much, I'm, gonna, i'm working because you said what yes. you told me for 5 minutes minimum time please subscribe thank you bye uh thank you yeah. welcome 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 Uh thank you for joining us. We are discussing a uh, tips Hi. for YouTube growth. But I have a specific question uh, for you which is not about uh what we are discussing now. I would like you to tell us what are the challenges facing you content creators in Africa, specifically South Africa, but in Africa because we we seem to have the same problems. Uh the biggest problem hi african tigress how are you hello um, i guess hi to everyone else hi um hello tenzu so yeah this this network yeah oh, i'm sure you can bear with us please do bear with us the networks are experiencing very many problems too many people at the same time using internet mm -hmm. i think i got i got cut off before i even started yeah we were waiting for you can start i was going to say i think the biggest problem is um the price of data in south africa is the biggest problem mm -hmm. it's the number one problem in south africa why people don't watch everything they want to watch um online on youtube it's data data in south africa is still one of the most expensive in the world and then obviously then people have to split it between facebook um instagram and everything else that people are trying to do online you know and they rush in that and then there's music videos that you competing with and jokes and memes and whatever and people are spending their money on all those things so that's why traditionally i even said youtube also has to market themselves like this is our services this is what we do and this is what people can get as youtubers or as a subscriber you know um because then then people know and understand there's more to youtube than when someone sends you a link to something then you go and that's it or music videos you go and you come back there's like a whole world and channels and celebrities and people making millions and it doesn't have you don't have to be a celebrity to be on youtube um and have a channel that you can make money out of you just have to have something that you know you're good at and you can sell that to the rest of the world you know So I think data price is the first biggest thing. Second thing um I had all you guys and all the tips you were giving and none of you said anything about marketing. Mhm. Mm so I use my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter to drive people to subscribe or to go and watch on my YouTube channel. But I think the same way now you you know AdSense and other people's ads coming on your videos there's a reason why they are paying for adverts they are paying uh, google adsense and it doesn't cost that much compared to advertising on tv or on radio and all that stuff so we also have to pay that hey i've got a new video i'm going to advertise it a little bit so that when people are watching tenji with videos my videos come up mm. or my advert for my channel comes up and equally let's make ads 
three minute ads, two minute ads, one minute ads for our YouTube channels and put that all over Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, just like Netflix is advertising, just like anybody else is advertising because that, that's who we're competing with, you know? In South Africa, it's worse because the majority of people still watch live television and still listen to radio. So already YouTubers in South Africa were competing with about 30, 35 million people that are still watching public television, you know, before they even think of watching a program on phones or laptop and whatever. Television in South Africa is free. It's free to air. There's more free to air than there is paid, paid channel. So they don't need a decoder. They don't. They literally just have to turn on their TV, and there's thousands of things to watch, thousands of TV shows and soapies and this and this before we even go to pay TV, right? So we have to advertise our content and our product and our offerings and our shows on other platforms where everyone is, and try and get them to then come to your channels. You know, even if you advertise. My video premieres every day at 9 a.m. on Tuesdays or Mondays or whatever. That's also fine. Then they know if they're watching TV 6 to 8 p.m. at 9 a.m., they know there's a new video on your channel. Or between 9 a.m. And, and 4 p.m., they know that your new video has come out. And, uh, and I guess we mustn't wait for... Obviously, you do it in conjunction with YouTube. But, you know, VidCon and YouTube gatherings that are always in the United States, that are in Europe. Um, if they're never going to do one in Africa, then African YouTubers need to do it or talk to YouTube and ask for their own. So I sign a petition, talk to them nicely. Let's have our own uh, VidCon in South Africa or in Africa for South African YouTubers, for African YouTubers to get together mm -hmm. every now and then and get to know one another and hand. collaborate. Yeah. And <laughs> I want to add to that. I think that about yeah. uh, YouTube does do events, but they seem to undermine African content creators by thinking only makeup content creators are worth an invite to a YouTube event. They do these events, but it's all about these beauty queens. It's all about the uh, co makeup content creators. They undervalue the real content yeah. without respecting the beauty content creators. But we have other content creators. Every time I see a YouTube event that is in Africa, it's all about the makeup artists. It's all about the, 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 the slay queens. And we need to become yeah. one voice and, and, and tell them this is not fair. Yeah. You don't have to so be able to be respected yeah. by the so, so we So remember, we don't have to call it youtube anything we can have a creators gathering mm. it won't change the fact that most of us are creating for youtube so we can go ahead and start something on our own get together just like film festivals have been started all, all over the world mm. mipcom uh, marketplaces have been started just like comedians get together and have comedy shows or, or support each other comedy shows creators need to think that way right because right? again you can create for YouTube. You're also free to create for Facebook or Instagram or everyone else. So I think then you maybe get attention from uh, from YouTube if that's who you're trying to get attention to. But you can also get attention from other YouTubers around the world that want to work with you. Right. African Tech, what do you think to that? We are coming, we have seven minutes before we reach two hours. And I think we will stop at two hours. Before we yeah, I actually, um, I, I've seen that a lot. They are quite selective. I mean, we really need to come together as a voice, united. You know, if we're united, then we are able to make impact or we're able to create change. If we don't unite, then, well, they always do whatever they are doing. And um, I don't know. I just find that sometimes there's a lot of uh, discrimination, even... Uh, in the local country events, leave alone the ones that they invite uh, different YouTubers from Africa to whichever countries and all that. Even the local ones, the local ones, they would 
they, 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 there's a narrative, there's a specific way, I don't know, they just want to make up artists, I don't know what. But there's even discrimination in the local offices, but that shouldn't discourage. I mean, as long as you know what you're doing, you watch uh, YouTube creator platform and all that, you're doing the right thing, you just keep going, even if you're not getting invited to the events. And also on that, I need to excuse myself, I need to reach out to the... You know, I told you I was going to stream later on, so I need yeah. to reach out to the panelists. Uh, I'm seeing a number of missed calls and messages. I need to attend to that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, African Tigress. We really value your contribution to the African YouTubers. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thanks uh, to everybody who's been Thank part you. of this Thank platform. You. Thanks to yeah. Thanks to everybody who joined us live. I'll uh, check out my channel, African Tigress. Check out my channel. I think she put the, the link in the comment. Subscribe yeah. and also support her. Support Tenjoy. She's doing amazing work. And whenever you're watching the videos, it's very important to actually like the video. It's the least way you can actually support a content creator. Just hit the like. Hit the like. You might not have financial contribution and all that, but hitting the like and sometimes sharing the videos goes a long way in supporting your favorite content creator. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so bye. much. Bye. 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 Okay. Yep. So, David, what do we do? So, How do we grow our channels? How do we? Because well, let's, and I have let's a lot discuss, of support from other let's non discuss again on. Uh, we are on on Monday. I think the tenth. Mm -hmm. Monday tenth. No. I don't when even we, know what day of the week is right day. But the right day. Uh, da, 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 da. But Monday. Uh, we are in May. Monday the eleventh. Okay, Monday eleventh May. You and I are back on YouTube at uh, is it seven p.m. or eight? At seven p.m. But seven p.m. South yeah, African 7, time. Yeah, seven p.m. South African time. Monday. And in an hour, I am back with uh, AY, comedian uh, from Nigeria. Please do join us because it's going to be interesting about, it's going to be about uh, the creative world. Where to now? AY did something that has never yeah, been yeah. before because his show was cancelled, just like your show, Blacks Only, was cancelled. And in the show being cancelled, yeah. you know how much money you lose when your show is cancelled because of uh, this yeah. epidemic. And he did it online. He had 84,000 people who watched it online. Wow. So we're going to be discussing where is uh, comedy going and how do we monetize online? How do we take our content? One time at seven? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So guys, please do subscribe, 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 and do share our videos and watch those adverts. Please make sure you watch those adverts. Because we all want to get to a hundred thousand subscribers. <laughs> Everyone we'll be there soon, to us on uh, Instagram, what other platforms are there? Facebook, Twitter. Facebook, Twitter. You can give us the same live and same energy on YouTube. At least we'll be able to buy uh, bread for our children, and it will encourage us to keep on uh, creating and to Let's keep on giving okay. good content. Any last messages, David? Okay, maybe I'll see you again at seven. No, no, no. I want. Uh, uh, let's come back to see you again at seven. Yeah, you're gonna yeah. pop in. You're definitely coming at at seven. Definitely. Yeah. Look, I think, like I said, you know, whether it's you or I or YouTube themselves, they need to pay a little bit more attention to South Africa, to Africa, and if you watch how Netflix is doing in South Africa. It's exactly because they made the decision they're going to pay attention to creators in South Africa, to creators in Nigeria, because mm -hmm. they realize Africa is the future, you know? That's why Netflix is doing so well in South Africa and in Africa specifically. So YouTube has to pay attention and, and come out and look for who in Africa are we collaborating with? Who do we give YouTube originals to? You know, can people come and pitch YouTube original shows to us uh, mm -hmm. so that because those things are produced and paid for by YouTube, you know, 
Yeah. So we shouldn't be shut out of those type of opportunities. Yeah. So Thank I guess my, so message, my message is more to you too. And uh, next week, Thursday, same time, we're going to be back as African YouTube content creators uh, talking about other ways to monetize our content, other ways you can help us to create better quality. So we'll be well, discussing. Tell you what you must do. I'll, I'll check if I still have an email address in my contact. But I think have someone from YouTube next Thursday as one of your guests. Okay. Okay. We will do I'll, that. I'll, I'll try and find the person that I've, I've met um, who's based in London and see if she still works there. Oh, people yeah. who work for Google in South yes. Africa. Maybe she can help you and give, and direct you in a certain Okay. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, you know, as long as they're going to know what they're talking about. Okay, sure. Okay, see you guys in an hour. Love you. Bye. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and Bye. press the notification button. Sure. All right.